Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Days Gone. This is actually my fourth session of the game. We're heading into hour 13 of gameplay here. And we're in camp. Well, the third camp, Lost Lake. And we got some missions to do. Um, what I'm going to do is just run around camp and make sure that I'm not skipping out on anything before we leave. But the next mission is to track down a neural field research team. That should be interesting, right? Um, you know, other missions available. I know that we can go back to the grave at some point, but it's so far away, I don't really want to do it. And we got these side missions... Uh, for each camp, basically, okay, Ripper camps. So, all right, let's uh, let's just check out, make sure what's going on in the camp, and uh, then more than likely, what we'll do is head out yeah, yeah. and How's do the going? next story mission. So we're only at level one, which means we can only buy the basic stuff, right? Um, and I could buy this rifle if I want, but I don't think I'm going to. Just want to make sure all my ammo is full. And indeed it is. Okay, good. All right. Uh, let's make sure that my good. bike has uh, full stuff. Let's make sure there's no bounties to trade in. And what's up, man? Nope. Hey, oh, yeah. one bounty. Oh. There hey, we go. Hold on. Uh, yep. And let's just make sure I have full gas and everything. Hey, man. Just looking around. Refuel. I'll fill her up. I'll be here. All right, and I'm fully prepared. Me. Okay. Later. Yep. Let's See ya. Oh, uh, let's go. Is asking me, am I happy that I played this game now? Let me put it this way: I don't. If I had not played Days Gone, do I feel like I would have been missing out on anything huge and significant? Honestly, no. I don't feel that. At the same time, the game is certainly passable. It's not like a bad game at all. And something for me right Hello. now, during a time when there's not a not a not a lot of new releases out. It's good to balance with Mortal Kombat, because if I was just playing Mortal Kombat every day, I probably would be totally burned out on it and basically be kind of miserable that I'm playing it every day. So for me, the variety of being able to play a different game and balance it with Mortal Kombat is good. And like I said, last session when I played this game, it actually got a little bit better, I feel. Um, so that's a good thing. But again, 12 hours in, is there anything in Days Gone that I feel like, man, I really... And, you know, feel like I'm playing a masterpiece game. Lost it's like great that I'm playing it. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Ricky, what's up? Iron Mike says you volunteered to stick around, do some runs for the camp, but that you refuse to work for Schizo. Uh. Yeah, something like that. Well, I can't say I blame you. Okay, well, I guess I'm stuck with you. So stop by the mechanic shop, and we've got a job for you. Yeah, okay. Speaking up. Wow, we're right through them. Alright, so... I got some side missions to now do for Lost Lake as well. Cookie Monster 414 just reset for nine months in a row. Thank you for nine months to support Cookie Monster. He says, keep it up, Philly. Don't let the haters get you down. Have you ever thought of playing with the Legacy of Kane games? I have. I would love there for to be like a... Uh, I would love for there to be like a, a collection, an HD collection. Of Legacy of Kane or something to go back and play those games because they were very popular. I know on the, on the PlayStation consoles at one point. Well, Brian, I'm at one of your beacons. Which one? What do you mean, which one? This Nero radio has a GPS, doesn't it? Yes, of course it does. I, uh, uh, okay. Uh, you're at Olali Falls. Okay, good. Uh, keep an eye out. A field op is going to be there any minute. Oh, Brian, out. Oh, Brian. Oh, God damn it. He's getting so, like, dragged along by his balls by O'Brien. Come in, your friends <clears throat> are here. O'Brien. I told you, they're not my friends. Okay, head in on foot. Yeah, 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 I know. Uh, what do you want me to do? Uh, use one of these tracking devices. No, no, not this time. I'm already tracking this one. Okay, let's get this done. Follow the researcher. She's there to investigate an infected subject. The freak. I was tagging a nearby cave. Hmm. A cave? A snowy area. Don't follow armed Nero goons into a cave. Just stay close to her. While you're in range, I can intercept her data. Well, Brian. I'm still working on the info you want. Don't ask. Why the hell am I talking to you? Oh, Brian, out. Uh. Squad check. Clear. I'm clear. Looks good to me. LZ secure? All set. How do I get past this asshole? Uh. 
Maybe I have to throw a distraction item? Jesus, this is taking forever. It's not so bad. I heard something. We're losing the pipe. We'll be gone before it gets dark. There we go. That's certainly an interesting take. So they're actually suspecting that this virus that, you know, destroyed mankind was was maybe mankind designed. It was a bioweapon. Maybe it was a bioweapon that got completely out of hand. They didn't mean for it to do what it did. They were trying to attack a certain populace and it just mutated to the point where it was uncontrollable. That's fucked up. It's an interesting twist. Maybe we'll actually get answers in this game. I guess that would be cool if we actually find out, right? Shout out to Unseen Aid who tipped me $11 to pick up today's top tipper. Said, appreciate all these years of gameplay content and DSP. Thank you very much, Unseen Aid. I appreciate uh, your support. Uh, 11. Oops. 11. That says 11, right? <laughs> I screwed up. I appreciate that very much. Thank you very much for the tip. Unseen aid. So I do like where we're going. See, unlike The Last of Us, where basically it was never explained what really happened with this mutation virus or whatever, in this game it seems like the plot line is going to explain by the end of the game what's going on, which is kind of cool. I like that. Alright, return to Iron Mike's camp. Mithrandir says that the story itself actually got good reviews. Receiving it now. Thank you, Drifter. What the hell is she talking about, O'Brien? About this virus, whatever the hell it is. What the hell is it doing? I want to know what the hell's going on, O'Brien. Why are they out here? What the fuck are you doing? O'Brien. He stops talking. I'll be in touch. O'Brien out. Yeah, so we're gonna find out actually what happened. Where did this virus come from and everything? What the hell? Oh, BB Ch oh god, BB Chunga says. Oh, hold on. Yeah, Ricky, what's up? I just wanted to say I'm, I'm sorry about what happened to Boozer. Oh. Yeah, probably not as sorry as he is. <clears throat> Look, Addy wanted you to know that if you hadn't brought her that list of knife boozer, that lifter would be in a hell of a lot more pain right now. Yeah, well, it just made it easier for you to carve him up. Sure. Anyway, I... We hope I was in my class he makes it. He's my friend, too, you know? Hey, listen. Um, thanks for bringing us in, Ricky. Uh, <clears throat> I gotta go. Deacon out. We got a job here, and then there's a story mission behind her as well. 
But anyway, BB Chunky says that O'Brien will will take off his mask later in the game to reveal he is a frog. He was a frog all along. Apparently, I can't do this yet. Oh, here we hey, go. Hey, Ricky, you said you had a job for me? Hey, Deke. Yeah. You remember Shane Riley? Everyone called him Red. Red Riley. Yeah, never heard of him, but let me guess. Ginger? What? Red hair? No. no. It was his boots. He wore these rattlesnake boots dyed with god-awful red color. He made quite the impression. <laughs> no, I bet. Anyway, he used to do runs for us back in the day until one day he decides he didn't like the camp credits we were paying. So he up and kills Lindsay Fuller. Who? Lindsay. Worked supply before Blair. Wait a second, so he killed an unarmed woman? Oh, she was armed. She just wasn't expecting him to shoot her in the face. Will you listen? So Red murders her, cleans out her supply hut, and then takes off before anyone knows what's happened. Got away clean. Oh, that son of a bitch. Until now. He and his men have been spotted up at Camp Pioneer. You don't gotta ask. I, uh, I got this thing about him. About killing unarmed women. I know. So I knew you'd want to handle it. Yeah, like I said, I got this covered. Um, what else can you tell me about him? Not much. Oh, wait. He chews tobacco. I heard he was such an addict that he rounds up cigarette butts, takes out the tobacco, and chews oh. that. Oh! That's disgusting. So now I got two reasons to kill him. Yeah, but be careful, Deke. That's, that is fucking disgusting. All right. So we will do that eventually. Oh, actually, that was it. That was what we were supposed to do, I guess. Yeah, that was the next story mission. All right. It's a totally new area. Yeah, I haven't been over there yet. Well, I think I did. I think I rode through it. But there's no fast travel or anything unlocked in that area. So I just got to drive over there, I guess. All right, it's a required bounty hunter mission. I guess we're going to head over there. <clears throat> this camp is interestingly designed to be more realistic, but it's a maze to drive through. A little bit of a pain in the butt. So, uh, a couple months ago, we were up there. I always miss the turns. It's a... What the hell? What are you, stupid? I wasn't going to hit you. <laughs> really great the thought I don't get bonus points for flattening uh normal people. Damn it, a bear. A bear? Well I'm not fighting a bear. Fuck that. Patty. There. Vic and St. John, the lost lake in front of me. Come back. Vic. Hey. Uh, oh, it's Boozer. Oh, wow. Okay, what's going on? Who's... Hey. Uh, nothing. I, uh... I'm tired of listening to Radio Free Orc, and it only takes so much of this truth or bullshit, you know? Deke, uh... Ad Addy told me how I'd be dead if it weren't for you. Getting the... and I, whatever the fuck's... Who's her? Yeah. It must have been fun. Uh, yeah. Pulled me down while she fucking... Jack carved up that turkey last time we was all together. I <laughs> kept sleeping all over the goddamn table. Yeah, I'm loose, man. I remember. I still feel it, you know. Knife. Worse than the rip. Hey, Ricky, I'm a camp pioneer, and it is a goddamn... Jeff interrupted him. What's going on? Are any of our guys there? Uh, no, I don't think so. Sounds like they're clearing freaks. Uh, don't worry. I'll find this guy. Deacon out. Over here. All right, but where the hell are you? Newts. Oh, well, they're killing newts. Okay, what's this? Okay, yes, yes, cigarette butts, yes. You eating the cigarette butts, dude. That's disgusting. He's screaming free. Uh, these look like uh, the kind of prints that some fancy. Damn it! Freaks! 
Shot. See you around. You're shooting me. Well, I thought that was gonna help them, but they're trying to kill me, so fuck them. Jesus, dude. I mean, I didn't want to have to kill her, but they started shooting me. Thank you, Potluck Yogurt, for a dollar tip saying something about slapping cheeks. I don't know what the hell you're talking about. But thank you for the dollar tip regardless. <clears throat> That's tobacco spit. Red fire lead or one gross motherfucker. Damn it! Freak! Get him! Come on! More over there. Craft some stuff. Can I craft bandages right now? No, I don't need them. Okay. <clears throat> Aha. <clears throat> Wooden box. What's in here? Box of nails. Year. This way now. I'm almost out of uh, nail bat stuff. Nail bat's crazy good though. It's like the best melee weapon in the game so far. <clears throat> I wonder if later on I'll get even better stuff. Right there, he's freaking hiding. All right, hold on. Now oh, I got you. Oh my god, disgusting headshots. <clears throat> you make sure I didn't miss anything else. Oh, look, I did. I'm gonna probably need this hatchet soon because my nail bat's about to run out. There's a door that's locked. Can't unlock it. Okay. Crafting items, that's good. Grab some more Molotovs. Ah, oh, do it yourself, Oregonian. So, I crafted 50 items and they gave me a trophy for it. Okay. Meet the Campfire Cadets Tourism Collectible. Who the cares about that?
Well, I don't see anything here. I got keys to open something, but what? Maybe it's a different building? I guess it could be. Look, they're basically saying it's in this radius. So I got keys to a building. I see search the cabins for Red Riley. You could be anywhere. Might as well head up to these other cabins. Let's see. Hiding in one of these shacks. Huh? Yeah, he must be. That's why I got the keys. Was him with his red boots. I looked out, it was the first freaking cabin I checked. Wow, that was really lucky. <laughs> Anything else in this house before I get out of here? A bottle. More bounties. Freaks. <laughs> Fuck that, I'm out of here. Don't need to kill everyone, let's get out of here now. <laughs> let's get the fuck out of here. Dude, those fucking red boots. <laughs> the boy Boon Shop says he said it wasn't him, you didn't even listen. You're right, I didn't. I don't care. Complete the mission. Daddy, you there? The mission was to kill him. Deacon St. John, the Lost Lake Infirmary. Come back. Deke! Hey. Uh, I'm feeling a little out of it, you know? You okay? What's going on? Boozer. Hey. Uh, nothing. It's a boozer uh, combo again. I'm tired of listening to Radio Free Oregon. They take so much of this. Same conversation a second time. And I, whatever the fuck's. Loser, how are you? They must have been fun. Put me down while she fucking wiped away at me. Remember how uh, Jack carved up that turkey last time we was all together? I <laughs> kept slipping all over the goddamn table. Yeah, Someone over here. I wonder if I can rescue somebody. Done, Boozer. It's done. It's over. Uh, Deke. Uh, sorry, I'm feeling, feeling a little woozy. Yeah, uh, hey, Addy's. Yeah, uh, hey, Addy's gonna kill me if she finds out you're out of bed fucking around. Yeah, I've, I hear a bunk uh, calling my name. Lost Lake signing off. Listen, Boozer. Boo. Shit. Oh, what the? Oh, Jesus. Well, better have a look around. I don't know if there's anything here or not. This guy's dead. I don't hear anything else. I don't see any footprints. All I see are items I can't pick up. So I don't know if there's anything here, or if it was just that what I saw, and that was it. I don't know. Repair my bike. Do some scraps. There's a piece of scrap there. Shout out to Ochalco, who has just subscribed to the channel. Thank you for the sub, Ochalco. I appreciate that. <laughs> Nothing like scrap. Yeah, I got the scrap. That's all it was. It was scrap. Damn. So those question marks could either be someone you could save 
and they actually dramatically, you know, help with the camp uh, loyalty, or someone who's dead and you just loot them. It's one or the other. It's kind of disappointing. I'm looking for survivors to bring to the camp so that way I get my loyalty up. Okay. Oh, Cholco, generally, he's just asking the street if he could be a mod. Generally, I don't accept mods for people who maybe have just come around, you know, recently. Usually, I look for, like, people who are around the streams a lot. Because I can trust them, and I know also when they'll be around. But if you are interested, you know, keep watching the streams. And, you know, you can always email me to talk about it at darkstarfellahotmail.com. All right. Shit, I almost hit a tree. That's funny. Love it. Shit. All righty. Let's trade this in. Give her the boots. The hey, red boots. Hey, Ricky. I got them. Deacon, what a relief. Lindsay has some folks she was close to. I'll let them know. Yeah, okay. I'll see you around, Ricky. That's right. Wow. So... Mr. Papa Vera says you need to upgrade your loyalty before asking for mod. Right, so if you take out some Freaker nests, uh, maybe do some bounty, bounty hunter missions for me, then maybe you could be a mod on my stream chat. <laughs> okay. Loyalty went up. Bounty hunter, 27%. Flow like buried rivers is the next story mission. Drive to a location. Oh, it's very close by. Okay. And I got a new skill point. I'm going to do bullet penetration. Yeah. All right. So now I basically, I have completely maxed out what I wanted to do in the ranged tree. So now when I start getting other skill points, I'll start doing other stuff here. I probably do this one. Repair melee weapons with scrap. And kill smaller enemies that are successfully escaping from a grapple. Those two will probably be pretty good. That'll be what I go for next. All right. <clears throat> hey, man. Just looking around. Refuel. Okay. Boom. Okay. I'll top you off. Damn, I got a ton. Four thousand five hundred forty-four of the of the currency now. All right, let's just go on foot. There we go. Frogs playing golf says, do I ever have a shot at being mod? Well, we all know I have an, a large prejudice against frogs. So sadly, frogs can never be mods on my streams. I'm sorry, man. I'm a bigot for frogs only. <laughs> oh, Deke. my God. I've been... Uh thinking about what you were saying about doing something to make a difference around here, pay back the camp. I'm listening. Do you got a few minutes? I want to show you something. Yeah, guess I can spare you a minute or two. The hell is this going to be? So where are we heading? You ever been out to the caves north of the lake? I know. Come on, see if you can keep up. Okay. Let's go. We're going on foot? We're gonna go on foot. It's gonna be an on foot mission, seriously. I got march duty anyway this morning. Gotta see if any freaks are stuck in the muck out that way. When's the last time you went up there? Been a few years, I guess. When I was a boy, we used to live in that damn cave. <laughs> the old man sort of fancied himself a geologist. Sounds like we got a couple. Freak stuck in the mud, I mean. Yeah. They kick it up. Nice work. I think Schizo's just found a new man for the job. <laughs> you know what Schizo can go do. Anyway, as I was saying, we spent hours talking about how all these caves were formed when lava flows would harden on the outside, but the molten cores would still flow like buried rivers. You got the big caves that drew in the tourists, like Metolius up there. 
There's way more than that. Riddled all over these parts. Okay, okay, we're coming up on the highway. We gotta be quiet. Okay. Jesus Christ! No, this stinky. is why you brought me out of here. I smell a bunch of goddamn freaks. Yeah. Okay, okay. Come on, follow. Wait, wait, why wait. Are we following follow them? Where the hell are we going? You'll see. Come on. Uh. Don't get too close. Stay down. This doesn't seem all that smart, even for a goddamn drifter. Yeah. Hold, up, hold up, you remember telling me about how the tourists used to flood up from California in the summer, choke off Highway 97 and the I-5 freeway? Yeah, in July, folks smelled almost as bad as these here freaks. Well, you weren't wrong about one thing. These freaks, the big groups, the ones that some call hordes, I think they're the reason we can't get their numbers down. What do you mean? Think about it, man. I've been out here in the shit collecting bounties for more than a year. Boozer too. Ricky, Schizo, a few others. How many freaks do you think I killed? A few. A few. Yeah. yeah. But their numbers never go down. You got a point? It's these hordes. Every night, there's a steady stream of them up and down the Sandium Highway. Thousands of freaks pouring into the Lost Lake Valley, north of the Cascades. And you think they're coming up from California? I always closed off. No one's been south of the Sentium Pass in years. It's not closed off to the hordes. Freaks are the reason it's closed off. Anyway, the point I'm trying to make is that the hordes come in every night. Not a goddamn thing we can do to stop them. Hmm. Well, you got that much right. Lost more than a few men trying to back in the day. Yeah, I know. I was there. And every horde that comes through leaves a few stragglers or gets busted up and scatters and, and just like that, freaks <laughs> everywhere as far as the eye can see. <clears throat> yeah, you, don't, you don't need to see them to know that they're around. We figure out a way to stop the hordes coming through. Maybe we can make some headway, reduce their numbers. Make it safer. Free up more farmland, irrigation. Yeah. Okay, so how do we do that? You know goddamn well you can't take on a, a, a whatever you call it, a, a horde? You grab some fucking uh, mushroom caps there. Huh. This is how. I'll be goddamn. Yeah. They stand there all day, hibernating or whatever the hell freaks do. So what are you thinking that we... Yep. We blow it the hell up. Stick it down in my bear. There and there, we'll bring down a mountain of rock. We seal this shit up. Yeah, so we trap a few hundred inside. What good is that gonna no, do? No, you don't get it. We seal this cave. Maybe they don't got no place to sleep. Or maybe this trail of piss and shit dries out, goes stale, and others stop coming. Yeah. All right. All right. You get my attention. Okay, come on. Let's head back. These are warmed up a bit. Let's see if you can keep up. Oh my god, what? Yeah, okay. Full race. Tell me, when does being out in the shit make you an expert on freaks? You spend your spare time just following them around, seeing what makes them tick? Not exactly. I mean, yeah. How do you know about all this? <laughs> Especially with O'Brien, that's exactly what he's do. doing. Where they sleep. A few days ago, I was riding north of Belknap Crater when a chopper flew by. A chopper? What the hell? Just listen to me. It was a black chopper. One of those Nero choppers that used to fly all over the goddamn place when the shit was going down. And you saw one, still flying. I followed them. I stole one of their radios. I've been trying to track them down, see if they have a base around here. Supplies. Shit, I mean, see if the feds are still alive, you know what I'm saying? They're out here doing field work of some kind on the freaks. They're studying them. 
They got resources to do that while we're out here starving, fighting to stay alive. <laughs> yep. I followed them up to the grotto caves. You know the ones? Yeah. They had motion sensors set up, <clears throat> measuring how many freaks used the cave during the day, and, uh, Mike, it was thousands. That right. They said freaks all up and down the Cascade Range, south of Crater Lake, and north up to Smith Rock, all used these lava tube caves to hibernate. So, we blew up those caves. Maybe we have a few less to deal with. Well, this was a riveting mission. I don't know about you guys. I mean, we this learned a little bit, but... It's got some merit, <laughs> but... job like that, it's gonna take a fair amount of TNT. He said you wanted help making Lost Lake safer. This is how we do it. <sighs> All right. All right, look. There's some things I gotta do, okay? But you meet me at the bridge in a couple of minutes. I know where we can find some. All right, very nice. Very nice. Okay. Supposed to be up at the farm an hour ago. My guy said he's got a shovel waiting for you. Yeah, Schizo, about that, I'm busy. See, Iron Mike and I, we're just heading out on a run. You and Iron Mike. <laughs> you get your ass up that way today, or you and your gimp boyfriend are gonna find yourselves out in the shit. You hear me? Without a goddamn battle. Yeah, yeah, I'll get right on that. St. John out. This is so weird. The game's story is, like, bipolar. Because uh, at one point, Schizo gave us exclusive info to go find med medical aid for Boozer. Now he hates us. What the hell's going on? Seriously, like I'm confused as hell. Why why does he not like us now? What's going on? Hey you. Oh. Okay, hold on. I don't know. It's confusing as hell. Let's get my bike. Alright, we're heading out on another mission. Here we go. Apparently I never have to sleep. Yo, going on a run. Where are we headed? This time you're gonna have to trust me. <clears throat> Peep State Tomatoes says goal wasn't to help out Boozer. He never liked you. He just wanted the supplies and to go against the other camp. Okay, where are no, we I going? understand that, but why would he trust you with you know that thing? The mine all around these parts? Yeah, uh, mercury or something. That's right, cinnabar. Extracted mercury. Cinnabar. Folks back east think it was gold mines out here and silver. Not so. Back in the early 1900s, cinnabar was worth more than gold. Huh. To operate the mine, you need TNT for expansion, blowing out new tunnels, clearing cave-ins, that sort of shit. And to own TNT, you had to register with the county, keep copies of the keys to all your lockboxes with the commissioner. Wait, the county courthouse? Where the hell is that? Thought you knew. It's in the old federal building. The old federal building. The one in Sherman's camp. Jesus, Mike. What the hell? You told me. You, you told me that you were never setting foot in that place again. Did I? I don't recall. You were drunk right after Joe was killed. Did I tell you why? No. Here. Turn right here. <laughs> okay. Mike, the place is going to be crawling. I don't, I don't think this is a good idea. Uh, weather holds will be safe enough. All right. That there? It's the old federal building. That's where we're headed. Ah, oh, you know what? I already cleared this town out. This was the town. I yeah, I had the, it had the nests, and I cleared the nests out. So this is good. This should be a lot easier now. Where are we headed? Just follow me. He will be on the commissioner. And and you know where he is? You, where his body is? Yeah, I think I do. I had a feeling we were going to come back here for a you mission. I did. Here. Yeah, 
Everybody got wiped out, man, woman, and child. Only a few got out, and, and uh, you, you were one of them, right? Only two got out. Me and Nora. But it wasn't the freaks that took us out. What do you mean? Here. What took them out, then? The humans killed each other? <laughs> Wouldn't be fucking surprised. Okay. Says called a truce. A meeting. Right here. Sounds like it went well. <laughs> oh, we knew what was coming. <clears throat> we knew what was coming and we were prepared. Fight didn't last long, but, but it was bad. They had ammunition left after all, and how they... Oh, hell, you can see what they did. Like I said, two people walked out of this town after all was said and done. And some days... to hell one of them wasn't me yeah it's pretty fucked up when the chips are down some people come together to, to help each other and others just fucking Commission the worst of them the comes out and here you go prime example of that go get the key so we can get the hell out of here fucked up Mr. Papa Vera cheered he said I went to a boom town once every 10 minutes you heard a sonic blast and things on the shelves were rattled in a convenience store they were selling you mining equipment and bottles of mercury caves. you brought me here because because you, you brought me here because you wanted me to see this. Not true. All right, you got the key. We're going to go get the maps to those mines, just like I said, and we're going to get more than enough TNT to seal every cave in the valley. Bullshit. You are right about one thing. I'm not sorry you've seen it. Not following you, Mike. I am talking about the war that's coming. With the Rippers. The one that Schizo's so hot for. You think he cares how many die on either side? Never mind. Come on, let's get this done. <laughs> Here's the door. So this is the thing I couldn't open before, but now I have the Place key. This is locked up tight. Come on, gotta find a way upstairs. Smells like something died in here. Newts. Yeah, I smell them. Bad business. Never much like kids. They always tended to get on my nerves. It was always the sore spot between me and my Elizabeth. God rest her soul. <laughs> you didn't like kids. Wow, well, here I thought you liked everyone. Shit. <laughs> Almost no one, point of fact. But I tolerate mm -hmm. this. Excuse me. Even smart ass drifters. Is this comparable to Metal Gear Solid okay. 5? Oh, it's the same All game, right. obviously. This they copied it. everything. Now we got maps to every mine in the county showing what? where they stored their dynamite. Okay, come on. Hear that? Yeah. Were well, you expecting anyone? Nope. Do you have my back here? Hey, I don't like starting trouble, but I'll finish it if I have to. Then we're gonna have to fight our way out. Stay behind me. Hey, I can take care of myself. I'm not saying you can't, but remember the last time that we were out in the shit. Yeah, like I said, I'm staying behind you. You think you're winning this? <laughs> Three headshots. Stay down. I got this. Freaks. 
Oh, good, they're fighting the freaks. Oh my god! That's happened, dude. Fucking head came right off. That's nasty. That was fucking nasty. Fuck, I'm sucking now. Okay, no you don't, asshole. What? What the fuck? Here we go. Nice! Oh my god, I got a headshot from that fucking far away. Holy shit. Nice, come on. I see him. God damn it. Oh, whoa, whoa! Where you come from? Came out of the alley. Okay. Jesus, what a mess! Now you know why no one goes into Sherman's camp. Damn. Eddie finds out you're out here risking your ass like this, she's gonna be pissed. No. How would she find out about something like that? I wanted to loot. Not from me. Okay. I already did it. Good shit. Not too tough. You know why? Because I got the best gun abilities in the game. So now I'm like fucking strong as hell. I can get headshots and shit. I heal when I get headshots. That's why I'm doing good. Very nice. Very nice. And it helped that I threw out the nests, as you saw, there were so way less the of the, uh, Why you wanted the me to see that shit. <clears throat> no, Dick. I always saw a bit of myself in you. Back in the day. How's that? You don't give a shit. Oh, you care about your friend. Don't want to see him die, but me? Any other goddamn person on the planet? I don't think so. Caring will just get you killed. Yeah, that's right. Thing is... Not caring will get you killed just as easy. The good folks of Sherman Camp did will stop caring about anyone but themselves and their own. Easy to kill a man when he's just some piece of meat standing between you and what you need. Schizo wants to kill Rippers because he don't think they're human anymore. They don't count. He's standing in the way of what he wants. Well, I don't buy into that shit. I won't have it.
Okay. That was pretty good. It definitely reminded me of like Uncharted or The Last of Us. More like The Last of Us, right? That fight in the town. Smiling Dinosaurs, that's how's the game? I'm having some fun with it today. I've done all story-based stuff. It's been pretty good so far. <laughs> I'm glad I bought all the gun upgrades. Seriously, that made it so much easier. You know, Schizo, he, uh, he wonders why I'm a pacifist. That's, you know, that's what he likes to call me. He, uh, he thinks I'm going to get everybody killed. Well, are you, Mike? Are that's you going to get everyone killed? Freaks aren't going to be around forever. Now, when they're gone, we're going to need some folks around here to help pick up the pieces. Hey, look, hey, hey. I don't like Carlos and his rippers any more than I like Tucker or, or Copeland and his, his, his goddamn truthers. All right, but here, look. Here's the thing, Deke. I'm not going out of my way to kill any of them. I've had my share of killing. Hmm. I, I get it. Makes comes sense. For you. My truce will hold. You can bet on that. So this guy's so dead set on peace, he doesn't even believe that that doing anything against the Rippers is warranted. And everyone's basically telling him otherwise. Like, dude, the Rippers are totally going to come and kill, them, uh, kill us all. The, the truce you have with them is bullshit. But he won't believe it. <clears throat> We've all done things craft recipe unlocked. You can now make the attractor. Ah, you can craft attractors. That's interesting. On Herod's birthday... Oh, well, Mike, I ain't gonna bet on that. Your truce ain't gonna hold. Yeah, no one believes that it's yeah, true. I agree with Schizo. The Rippers, they ain't human. Not anymore. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna buy a, uh, a suppressor. Now that's an upgrade. Do I want to buy the better sniper rifle? I think I do. All right. The guy who sold me I that it. said it was good. <clears throat> yep, that's what I want. All right. So I spent a lot of money. Hopefully the sniper rifle's worth it. See you later. Howdy. Hey, you. Busy. Two whopping uh, things to trade, eh? Bye. Bambino says, do you think that playing every big game out there has had an impact on your enjoyment of Horizon and Days Gone? You recognize every feature and mechanic from other games, both good and bad. Yeah, honestly, being the, being the guy who played pretty much every major release over the last 10 years, when I see those game mechanics implemented in another game, absolutely, it's like, well, I recognize that now, and you're right, it could take away, because now I've seen that, you know what I mean? So, 100%, I agree there, Bambino, yes, I agree, because... If I hadn't, you know, I might have played Horizon Zero Dawn without playing Tomb Raider, and I might have been like, wow, this is original and so, you know, so unique. Or I might have played this and been like, oh, wow, a zombie game with third-person combat and stealth and everything. Oh, but I played The Last of Us, and I played State of Decay, you know what I mean? So, 100%, the answer is yes. <clears throat> so, we're heading out to an area with, you guessed it, more nests. Maybe I'll destroy the nest out there so that I can fast travel through there later. These people faceplant just like fucking Grand Theft Auto. I'm not going to hit you with my bike. Yet you faceplant yourselves like morons. <laughs> okay. I wonder how Blizzard's holding that. I guess I should uh, go check on them. He's awake. Too late now. It's a new mission. I could use a hand. But well, we're doing this mission first. I've already left. You can say, John, this is Lost Lake. Come in. Yeah, Mike. This is Deke. Richard brought in Shane Riley, but when I went to the shack to question him, he 
wasn't there. Uh, yeah, uh, about that, Mike. I tried to bring him in. I really did, but he, uh, well, put up a hell of a fight. So he didn't leave me much choice, Mike. He didn't. Uh, remember what I said about how we do things around here. Uh. Yeah, yeah, Mike, I remember. Lost Lake out. Oh, there's a hostage? Oh my god! What the hell? That thing was crazy. Deke, you gotta hurry. Ricky, what's going on? I'm trying. That guy we've been looking for, Eric Lynch, who, who murdered Camel and Reed Please. at the farm. The Lynch man, son of a bitch. You know where he is? Yes, uh, yeah, he's on the North Shore at the old boat launch. Skizzle wanted to go after him, but Iron Mike said to get you. I'll get to him. Thanks, Deke. Hurry. All right, now we got a lot of missions unlocked. Here we go. Talk to him. Oh my god. Talk to him. Hey, hey, there hey. We go. It's okay. You're not gonna make it out here. I know where there's a camp. No, no. Where? Where? I'll go. Definitely send him to Iron Mike's. I need the loyalty there. Head to Lost Lake. Ask for Ricky Patel. She'll take you in. <sighs> Thank you, so Renegade Patrol. Oh, god damn it. There. Tell him it was Deacon. They'll know. Don't stop. Just keep out of sight. So weird. So much is going on right now. Like a hundred things just unlocked out of nowhere. <laughs> is my bike okay? Yeah, my bike's ninety-seven percent. What the hell do I want to do? Look, all these missions opened up. What the heck? Yeah, look, bounty hunter. I could use a hand, and now this one. All right. Well, we're gonna do this because I'm right next to it. Okay. So I gotta keep finding survivors to send to, to Lake uh, Lost Lake so that I can get higher, uh, you know, loyalty with them. Hopefully hit level two and buy better stuff. All right, let's see what we got over here. <laughs> 